we are the Ribka Twins. Welcome back to Squared. So guys, in today's video, we are doing the famous what's in my dance bag video. We've never done this before, so let's get straight on to it. Oh my god, we have a matching bag. <laughs> oh my god, I just noticed that. So guys, before we get on with today's video, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Alright, first things first, what are you pulling out? Like? Just, it's a lucky dip, really. You put your hand in and you hope for the best. Alright, I'm going to start with this. <gasps> wow. This is so I smell good in between classes. Not going to lie, I have never used this before. <laughs> I just wanted to put this I'm going to start yeah, using yeah. it now, though. Because I do want to smell good in between. That will smell good, mm. you should wear that. Golden blue. Alright, now in the dance bag. My first item is band-aids. Band These aren't just normal band-aids, guys. These are lifesaver band-aids for dancers who get yeah. lots of blisters. blisters. Mainly if you do point. Yeah, so we use them when we have point. Just as a precautionary thing because you don't want to get blisters. Yeah, these are actually better than normal band-aids because they are gel based, which means they actually stay on when you sweat and when you move you put it around. And they give you a little bit of a cushion. Yeah, and they give that little cushion. It's not just covering the blister and that hurts anyway with a normal band-aid. These are like amazing. Next, Next item More. that I have in my bag is money because you just never know when you're going to need some money. Yes, Australian money is probably completely different to your money. Yes, yeah, so this is 20 bucks, everyone. Unless you're Australian, then it's the same. Yep. Okay, obviously we have our dance shoes. This is an acro shoe. This is what we wear for acrobatics. A lot of people from even the eastern states are like, what are acro shoes? Most yeah. people wear bare feet. We wear these and they have yeah. grip on them so that you don't slip and that you can push off for your tumbling. Yeah, so they've got grip, special grip, that is different to like a jazz shoe. Yeah, and good. yeah, we have these in tan and black because you never know if you're going to need a tan pair or a black pair, depending on your costume. Exactly. My next item is this trusty thing. What is that? It is a ball that helps with your sore muscles. It is also a lifesaver if you have sore muscles. Mm -hmm. Have I ever seen you use this ball? <laughs> I use it all the time. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> Do you use it on? I actually use this at home. I don't yeah. get time in between but classes. But you keep it in your dance bag. But I keep it in there just in case you get like really bad crab or really bad muscle tightness. Yeah. Then I'll use it. But otherwise, oh, yeah. I use this like all the time. Because you know there is a better product, and I actually have it in my bag. Which one? You can find it. This. Oh. So it's a, a like a massage ball, but it's in this thing, so that instead of you rolling on the ball, oh. It rolls for you. <laughs> it jumps out of your hand. Oh my god! I just stepped on <laughs> What? <laughs> Sam! That's disgusting. I just squished the banana in the carpet. <laughs> ah! <laughs> anyway, we'll clean that up later. This is really good because it's so much easier to roll out your muscles because you just do this and it's rolling it out. It's so good. I've actually never used one of these. Can I try it? You actually have to invest. Let's see. I feel like I've I stretch out muscles more than right you. now because we've just had dance competitions all long weekend. Doesn't it soothe your muscles? Yeah, it feels pretty good. It's so good. That one definitely have in your dance bag because that's so easy. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. This has to be in my dance bag. This is from Kmart, really cheap. My boyfriend got it for me. Okay guys, the next item that I have is hand sanitizer. I don't actually use this at dancing, I think it was just in my bag from a trip that we once went on. Next we have another dance shoe. This is um, a point shoe, if you've never seen one. <laughs> or a demi point. We have to wear these for our major ballet exams, which is silly because no one likes demi points. <laughs> no one likes demi points. <laughs> because they're, they are a lot harder than a normal ballet shoe and you have to like work them in like a point shoe in a sense now sorry about the dirtiness guys but like you dance in these so they're not exactly going to be clean yeah so you start off with a ballet shoe flimsy yeah and then, then you, you move, move up to a, a demi point, point and then you go harder and firmer to this hard thing and then you actually have like a block so that you can actually dance on your toes yeah with the point shoes yeah. and don't mind my uh point shoe coming apart i have a spare pair of socks because you never know when you're gonna need a spare pair of socks at dancing, you know, if you forget socks or whatever, it's good to have a pair. Yeah, you need to make sure you put them in the damn clothes. Okay, next I have my drink bottle. Um, I constantly have and bring a drink bottle to dance. Tegan, on the other hand, always forgets, so yeah, this will never be seen in Tegan's bag. <laughs> yeah, I don't really carry a drink bottle in my dance bag. 
But yeah, make sure guys you always drink water because it is actually so important, especially if you sweat. Which if you dance you sweat. Yeah, so water's so important and I love water and I always have a water bottle in my bag. Me on the other hand. No. I have a plane ticket. <laughs> Tegan also Where am I going? <laughs> Tegan also uses her dance bag as her like plane carrier. Yeah, bag. so that's why there was lots of random of... things. That's where the hand sanitizer came because I did actually bring that on the plane. It's Comment down below if you'd like an airport. What's in my airport bag? Yeah, we should hope to do that. Perth to Sydney to LA. This ticket right here. Yeah. Next we have trusty jazz shoes. Yeah, I have some of those too. You wear them in jazz class. And you... I've actually got the special grip on mine because you're crazy. How I do you need spin it? with grip yeah. on? Because these are quite old, um, and I got the special grip ones because I felt like I needed it. Yes, jazz shoes get super slippery. Comment down below if you totally can relate to that. Jazz shoes are just like slippery. I don't have any point with this. <laughs> Guys, oh, these, these are pretty good to have in your dance bag, especially just as like a little snack. To keep if you, you going. are feeling hungry and you've run out of energy, these are really good to just quickly have yeah. for some quick bursts of energy. You feel heat better. They're, yeah, they're special like glucose chemist sport jelly beans. These are much better than just buying like the ones from normal stores. So these are great, they give tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we always have in our comp bag as well because it's great before you go on stage, like 10 minutes before to have a jelly bean. I have a ballet skirt that's mm. always folded because you don't want it to be creased when you do your ballet. Okay, next I have a bag. And inside the bag is my toe pads. These you put in your point shoes so that your feet don't get destroyed. Legit, they, they act as like a protection layer for your feet. Yeah, it's like a little bit of cushion for to go inside your point shoes so it doesn't yeah. hurt. Also in this bag I have these things. They're kind of nasty. Do you know where they go? So these are like gel things that go on your big toe. Do you add extra you cushion? Wear you wear them if you have pain in your big toe. I don't wear those. <laughs> <laughs> They're there just in case I have pain in my big toe and I need extra cushion that day. <gasps> this is so important. If you have an iPhone 7, you'll understand the pain of an not iPhone bringing this. An iPhone 7 or more? 7 or plus. This is a lifesaver as a dance teacher when you need to play music or if you're just training. Oh wait, that's a 7. I always carry this in my bag, so no matter what, when I'm at dance, I have this to plug into my phone and then I can play the music. Yeah, or you can just use Bluetooth. Either way. So basically in our dance bags, we have shoes for all genres, jazz, ballet, point, acro. We used to do tap, but not right now. So we used to have tap so shoes in So there's no tap shoes in the bag anymore. Um, and yeah, water, band-aids, jelly beans. Jelly beans, spare pair of socks. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah guys, so that's it. Comment down below if there's something that we have in our dance bag that you have in yours as well. Or that you have in your dance bag and we don't have, and we should have in yeah. there. Mm. Okay guys, so to see yesterday's video on Squared, click here. To see more from us on Squared, click here. And to subscribe to Squared, click here. And if you'd like to see more from us, we do post on our personal channel every Thursday. The link to our channel will be in the description box below. We'll see you guys next time on Squared. See ya!